I wanted to tell you guys about a brand that makes my all-time favorite lipsticks. I purposely left it out of the name just because it is a brand that isn't raved about on YouTube like at all. They are the Shiseido Perfect Rouge lipsticks and the Perfect Rouge Tender Shears. These lipsticks are available in most department stores that sell the Shiseido line, but I find them to be most conveniently found on Sephora.com exclusively online. In Canada, they're selling for pretty expensive for $30 a pop, but in the States, it's $25. So I currently have three of these lipsticks. Even though they're my favorite lipsticks, I'm not a girl that likes buying a lot of makeup at a time because these expire and if you don't use them at a relative pace, I think it's a big waste of money. I have these lipsticks in PK117 in Bubblegum, uh, BR702, and the Tender Sheer in PK327. PK417 is the Bubblegum Pink. It's almost like a hot pink. It has a slight shimmer and a glossy finish. The BR702, it's this brown color. It looks kind of intimidating and scary on the tube and something that looks like I wouldn't wear. But for me, it actually becomes this kind of a nude color that I really like. Um, because I am so fair, when I wear colors that are nude, they just look kind of orangey and concealerish on my lips. And this last one, I have a tender sheer. But now these tender shears are actually repackaged in a red bullet, but I still really love this color. It's the PK327, and it is a perfect my lips but better lipstick. I'm actually wearing it right now. It is so natural that it almost looks like I'm not wearing anything at all. Next, I wanted to spend some time talking about the packaging of these lipsticks. It, I think it fits Shiseido very, very well because from afar, they just look very conservative, very traditional, almost like a round lipstick that you can find in the drugstore. But up close, you really gain to appreciate all the detail that they put into this product. And I really appreciate a product a lot more and I feel like I can justify a price like that when I see all the attention to detail that a company puts into packaging, formulation, and all of that above. So first off, this kind of lies on a counter. It just looks very typical, very bland. But when you have it in your hand, you first realize how heavy of a product this is. That alone just kind of sets it way above any kind of drugstore lipstick. When you have this in your hand, you will feel the smooth metal container this lipstick is encased in and that high glossy finish really catches that light beautifully. Another factor that it kind of has that sparkle to it when you kind of move it around in the light is because of the irregular packaging. It isn't completely circle, it is actually almost like a square with rounded corners. And this shape is actually very well thought out of. It is the shape of the traditional logo Shiseido has, and it is perfect in the form of a lipstick. Because of the flat sides it has, it prevents this lipstick from rolling off the countertop. But enough of the packaging. I didn't fall in love with this lipstick because of its fancy packaging. I fell in love with this lipstick because of the great formulation it has. A little bit of history is that Shiseido is actually the world's oldest cosmetic company in the world. I know nowadays it's more known for its skincare, but it have over 140 years experience of making makeup. And this lipstick really shows that high quality makeup as well as that high quality skincare that they're really known for now. I generally hate wearing lipsticks. It's something that I love buying before just because of all the fun colors that you can put on your lips. But every time I wear a lipstick, it just makes my lips feel very dry where it peels off something very similar that Rayview talks about all the time. And these Shiseido Perfect Rouge and Perfect Rouge Tender Shears are the only lipsticks that I've worn that are most are comfortable enough for me to wear for hours without me needing to take them off because I feel like my lips are peeling off. I like that these lipsticks have the ability to be applied very sheer with one coat and then I can build it up to almost of a opaque, semi-opaque consistency. Overall, I would really recommend these lipsticks to everyone. The downfalls of these lipsticks are, one, they are very expensive. For me, $30 for a lipstick is pretty expensive. 
and they don't have the widest range of fun colors. Because Shiseido is kind of a conservative company, they won't have those fun colors that MAC would be as bold with, like a dark purple or even like a black. But I hope you found this review helpful. Please leave a comment down below of what your favorite lipsticks are. Maybe I would be brave enough to try it next time. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye now!